Taste and See Tampa Bay, sponsored by the Duke Energy Center for the Arts. The Happy Theater continues. Welcome back to Taste and See Tampa Bay. I'm standing right here outside the Duke Energy Center for the Arts Mahaffey Theater. We're right here in just a matter of days. The plaza will come alive for the party on the plaza. It's a festival benefiting the theater. We're talking about an evening filled with live music, food, vendors, and fun. And this year, the party will feature musical guest Ovation. This band will have you on your feet dancing. The High Energy Group features a nine-piece band, and their song list contains more than one 1,000 songs. Mark your calendars, it's happening on Friday, October 14th, right here at the Duke Energy Center for the Arts Mahaffey Theater. I'll share more information on Party on the Plaza in just a minute, but first, let's take a look at some big events happening this weekend across Tampa Bay. And in fact, Tampa's largest Oktoberfest is back at Curtis Hickson Park. Celebrate with German cheer, dancing, games, and yes, of course, plenty of beer along the Hillsborough River. The festivities take place this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Tickets are 10 bucks for one day, 20 for the weekend. And keep in mind, yes, you gotta be 21 or older to gain entry to this event. Oh, that looks like so much fun. Okay, Florida's longest running LGBTQI plus film festival kicks off this weekend. From October 7th until the 16th, watch more than 50 documentaries and shorts at the Tampa Bay International Gay and Lesbian Film Festival. Showings take place virtually and at venues around the Bay Area, like the Tampa Theater and the AMC Sundial. Tickets for the events uh, range from about $15 to $35, or you can buy a full festival pass this weekend for $150. So much fun. All right, we'll celebrate the season at St. Pete Pier Ball Festival this Saturday and Sunday. This event is free to attend and features musical acts, kids activities, food vendors, drinks, and photo ops. You can check out all the fun at Spa Beach and Family Park at the pier. And one of the best cigar experiences in the Sunshine State is back. Tampa Cigar Bash is happening this Saturday at a new location this year, the Seminole Hard Rock in Tampa. Event guests will receive access to sought after cigar deals, manufacture meet and greets, as well as delicious food, cocktails, and even live music. General admission is $175 and does include a Tampa Cigar Bash event bag loaded with 30 premium cigars and swag, food, and even two drink tickets. The event kicks off at 1 p.m. Okay, Zach Brand Band is coming to Tampa this Saturday night, and they'll perform at the Mid-Florida Credit Union Amphitheater for their Out in the Middle tour, along with special guest Robert Randolph. Tickets start around $65, and the show kicks off at 7 p.m. All right, and let's go Lightning. Watch Tampa Bay take on the Florida Panthers for the last preseason game at Amelie Arena. Puck drops at 4 p.m. on Saturday, and tickets start around 20 bucks. And let's stick with sports, shall we? The Bucks play against the Atlanta Falcons this Sunday at Ram and James Stadium. Gates open at 11.30, kick off at 1 p.m. Tickets we found starting $114. People still wanting to see good old Tom Brady there. There we go. <laughs> okay, now back to this party on the plaza I was telling you about. Here's everything you need to know. Again, it takes place on Friday, October 14th, and tickets are on sale now. They're $25 if you purchase them in advance today. And you can get them now online at Ticketmaster or by calling 727-300-2000. Tickets purchased after today will be $35. And by the way, there's also a special VIP experience available for this event. I'm talking a private bar, complimentary hors d'oeuvres, private bathrooms, free event parking, and the VIP area in front of the stage. If you're interested, those tickets are $75 and the proceeds go directly to supporting the Bill Edwards Foundation for the Arts and the Duke Energy Center for the Arts Mahaffey Theater. Now, I don't know about you, but I cannot wait for Ovation to take the stage. So bring a blanket or a lawn chair and sit back and enjoy a night of music, plus this amazing view. Now let's check in with our meteorologist team at ABC Action News to see what you can expect from the weather this weekend. If you're headed out this weekend to Oktoberfest in Tampa, expect the temps to be in the upper 80s both Saturday and Sunday. If we do see any rain, it would be on Sunday, but it's still pretty unlikely. Less than a 10% chance. So beautiful weather out there at Curtis Hickson Park. The same in St. Pete for the Fall Fest. Out on the pier looking great. The temps will be a little lower in St. Pete, reaching highs only in the mid 80s both days. And again, we're looking at dry conditions on Saturday. By Sunday, maybe an isolated brief 
sprinkle that rolls through, but otherwise fantastic weather for being out in St. Pete. Okay, I know you in particular are keeping a look on that weather. Oh, Maybe yeah. what the weather is doing in Gainesville. Sure. Right? Ooh, yeah, I'm going to go see uh, Florida take on Mizzou. You know, I'm from Missouri, so I go Tigers. I know that's going to be hard to say oh. here, but hey, I know it's going to be a good one. I people have settled that one. I like it. Are you oh, doing anything funny. good? I'm just going to relax and enjoy. <laughs> just nice. enjoy being at home and kind of slowing down. What about you, Natalie? You know what? This weekend is an event we look forward to. Uh, I know my family and I. It's Tuxes and Tails, which of course benefits the Tampa Bay Humane Society. All happening down at the Tampa Convention Center. It is one of those events, again, that people just circle on their calendars. I do get a little nervous, though, because there's like a fashion show. Instead of fashion, you walk adoptables, you know, down. Oh, my God. I'm always scared I'm going to fall. I don't want to be that person that falls, but it is a great event. So, of course, you can check out uh, their website for more information on that. Sounds so. like a lot of fun. All right, well, after the break, it's Tasty Cuisine Time. And since it's Hispanic Heritage Month, we're paying tribute to the legendary Cuban sandwich. Find out where you can get some community favorites. Stay with us.